This hole is presented by Ken Climo. Who the heck is Ken Climo? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the uh, tutorial. Have a good day. Welcome back. We are in Clearwater, Florida, where it is no longer warm and humid. It is cold and windy. And I'm joined by none other than Noah Five Ash. Noah and I spent uh, about a month and a half together in Jacksonville in the off season of before the 2022 season Curling and the whole, the whole time <laughs> best friends ever since but <laughs> now we're down in clearwater preparing for chess.com and the all-stars this weekend so we got the week off you know we're just kind of exploring the area and we are at none other than the champ ken climo's home course cliff stevens 12 time baby and noah's never played here before correct i've never just fished, fished out here he's fished here. fished out here with holly i played here in november 2021 in a b tier and I lost to Kevin Kiefer, so this is like my redemption round because I should have never lost that tournament. I took out his knee after that sh <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Ken Climo's home course. I'm sure maybe people have heard of it. Maybe they've seen an uh, Instagram post or two about it. But I'm here to give you guys the full course uh, preview and kind of show you what Ken Climo grew up playing and learned how to play on. So let's check it out. All right, guys, here we go. Hole one, 426. We're playing the greens. We didn't want to play the golds because with the paths that go through the course, it can take a while. Like we've been sitting here on hole one for like 20 minutes now <laughs> waiting for people to walk by. But we're just going to play the greens. It's the standard layout for all skill levels, depending on what tee pad you play. But we're going to play probably the longs from the greens. And here we go. Hole one right here. Oh, too low. Oh, great start. All right. Going Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Say, I like crepes. Alright, this one's gonna be way better than that first one. Uh oh. Wind's taking them. That's water over there. I have yet to investigate whether or not my other shot went in the water. So I'm just gonna play from one of my warm ups. I threw FD1 for cash money to start the vlog. Oh, that was not cash money. My hands are cold. They're really cold. All right, good news. No lost soldiers. We thought that we each lost one, but they were bad enough to be good. So we teed off from the long pad. That pad you see by the stop sign is the gold. We teed off a little bit shorter than that. Come around to 426 feet right here. But then if you want to talk about the Ken Climo layout, the golds, that is a thousand and 12 foot hole. Noah just made that as I was talking about the gold hole. That hole is 1,012 feet and Ken Climo specifically had it put right at 1,012 because you know, 12 time world champ. Pretty genius. For my fake three, even though my, my real shot was inbounds, I played my warm up. All right, the basket is just kind of tucked in the trees here. It's kind of like a little fairway hyzer to skip. Obviously, hopefully an ace, and hopefully the dog doesn't come and take my disc. That would be less than ideal. Please skip. Where? Yeah, that's it, right there. Holy crap. That was actually an ace run. The beef dog. Oh, it is a beef dog. Skip. A little bit of a dud skip. So for a little bit of history for me on this course, like I said, I played one tournament here. It was a three round B tier. And I remember the first round, I shot maybe like five under. The problem was I had 13 putts that hit the basket for birdie, hit metal for birdie 13? and didn't drop. Yeah, it was literally like a day to shoot 18 under. And as, as you know, five down was probably not a terrible round, I just, it was almost demoralizing, but all right, let's see what Noah's got. Come on, windy. It's a windy one. Oh, chain out. Kind of like this vlog and vlog action. It's like uh, two different looks at. Yeah, you don't have to like stay around each other. You know, you're just 
more focused on the camera. What's your channel? What's your channel name? Uh, Noah Five Ash. Just just Noah Five Ash. Just Noah Five Ash. All right, yeah. guys. Well, Noah's just getting started, getting like started. just like Trevin. Just like Trevin. Diving right in. Noah Five Ash will come up on his channel. Road back to a thousand, right? Road back right? to a thousand. I've started a new series where I just kind of you know post random videos. It could be putting. It could be a mini game. It could be a practice round. But anything I'm doing, it's my road back to a thousand. So. Practice every day. Exactly. Right there, brother. Exactly. Yes, sir. Up. All right, birdie putt. Yeah, this is to tie it up because you birdied hole one. Oh yeah. All right. I have to prepare myself for a vlog round way differently than a practice round just because the first shot is going to be documented forever where typically the first shot of the day is never something to be proud of, as you saw today. Okay, hole three. It's uh, water on the left and really the hardest thing about this hole is accessing under the branch without getting a bad kick off the roots. So what I think I'm gonna try and do, I'm just gonna sidearm this Skywalker, try and hit before the roots and just kind of skip over them. Oh, it's just holding left. And it's gonna park the long pin. Come on, right? Sploosh. We had to go back to the van and grab a quick stick because if you're playing Cliff Stevens, you could be throwing great shots. You gotta have the fucking quick stick, okay? <laughs> I've strapped that's, it in. That's actually really genius. It's for umbrellas and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can keep my one whole long birdie streak alive and extend it to two. <sighs> a little bit of uphill footing. Oh, it just lifted on me. All right. Oh yeah, all right. All right, this hole is a perfect example of a difference between green and gold. Green is a par three straight ahead right here. Gold is a par four that actually bends around the corner and weaves through. And just really the gold layout showcases how much they maximize the park that has a bunch of bike paths and walking paths and water. And they were able to put in like, a, I think it's par 61. Whereas the normal layout I think is only par 55. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but you know what? You know what the deal is here. We're going sidewalk, uh, side. I was gonna say sidewalker, sk <laughs> skywalker, skip ace. Sidewalker, skywalker. That could do it. That could do it. Do it. Ah, birdie putt. I'm working a lot on my side. Uh, my sidearm skywalker. Cause it's just like that's that. That's that T-bird like this, yeah, right? Yeah, you just, need that, you just need that clean pop. Cause they're really glidey. So if you miss the angle, they can just get really get away from you. Casey's not lying about the glide on that thing. Like that thing is so, like I was throwing, I threw a T-bird next to it. T-bird was like 50, I, I swear to God, Casey did not throw it harder than me. And the, the, his shot went literally 50 feet further than mine. I don't know how, like I'm looking at it like- We just played last weekend. I was genuinely shocked. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what the? But hey, it's a great disc and that's why it's sold out. Dude, it's but such a check your local retailer. They might have, still have some in stock. Like, hold on, hold the phone. For the price gouge. Where is it? For disc Golf 978. Around the tree? That might do it. Yeah. Nice shot. Oh, come on, dude. That's just... Yeah, but my putters are so slick. Yeah. That was like more grippy. I just don't get that same. That was on me. I, I felt it in the release, and I was missing that one right. Nice two. All right, hole five. And what do you know? This hole was presented by Ken Climo. Who the heck is Ken Climo? Avery just got back to me and said the reason that the first hole is 1,012 feet, it is first place in the open division 12 times. Genius, absolutely genius, I love it. So when I design a course, I'll need a hole that's uh, 100 feet. First place, open division, zero times, no, just kidding. All right, uh, this one looks like, I mean, see, the, the pin positions are super tough. I don't know what pin we're playing here, but it's like a distance driver skip shot, looks like. S-Line DD1, done by the die dude. Oh, it flipped up just a little too much. It did. If it had kept that hyzer angle, it's perfect. Mid-range, huh? 
Oh, look at that kick. Okay, we'll see. I just put a brand new disc in the bag because unfortunately I threw off 18 at Olympus yesterday and my Vanguard was going perfect the whole way. It was like super crush and then it went whoop and went right in the pond. So I just couldn't find it. I, I looked all around, but I think it's dead center pond, but this is a brand new Vanguard. Shout out to Kyle Klein. Oh, that's the one. See, I didn't even need a distance driver. That's definitely on the dance floor around the tree, but I actually really like these putts. I can see one chain with a tailwind, so nose up on a hyzer. Try and cash it right in. Ooh, just a little long. Oh no! It's rolling, dude. I might have to check that. We didn't lose it. Oh, that's the worst. Because if that floated away, it was, it was floating upside down in the river. If I didn't go check that right away, there's a chance I wouldn't have got it back. And if there's one disc I can't lose, it's my putting putter. But let's try that again. <laughs> oh, redemption putt. Woo! Call it a four. <laughs> Reput four. All right, hole six. Currently, I'm even par. Noah's one under. We're playing the green. And really cool story. In the tournament I played in November 2021, my card mate Travis aced this hole. This hole? And it was freaking awesome. Yeah, it was like a pure was line. Pin? Uh, I think it might have been the shorter, shorter pin, pin, but this tee pad for like sure. That's the same exact shot. Yeah, 354 sounds like a MD2 to me. <laughs> With no context, that would be a wild statement. This is a sweet shot for this disc. Oh, is it too high? And too much turn? Okay, we got a battle putt here, even though it's from freaking 90. Going MD, right in the heart of the center of the goddamn chains. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, dang. I'm gonna try and spin it like Casey a little bit, you know, bring it in. Get that spin, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Work it. Guys. It was spinning. Yeah, it was, it was wobbling out there in a direction. And I put myself in a really bad spot. Uh, no. Uh, I hit leaves on the way out. I don't miss twice because it's always twice or it's luck. So that means if you make the, miss the first, make the second, it was, it was just luck yeah, like, like that you missed. The wind's pushing it. You'd have a putt on the short pin. Skywalker, sidewalker skip. No water fountain. Get up. No. All right, it's not in the water. All right, here's Noah's bid. He's kind of got me on the ropes here. I keep missing my birdie putts. And he plays it safe. Yes, I did it. I feel like I cursed myself by talking about the 2021 tournament where I hit metal on every single hole besides the holes that I birdied. I'm sticking with the Skywalkers working. This is just one of those one hop, one hop skippers. Ah, uh, too much hyzer. Oh, and the wind is taking it. Good kick. Great kick. All right, let's see if we can do something better than that. Come on, the wind's gonna take it, watch. Yeah. Skystone, where's the beef? Oh, it's beef. Probably beefier. It's the new PD2. Is that the new PD2? Yeah, it's the new PD2. No I don't know. Don't get it twisted. Same thing I did the first one. This one was a little bit of a lucky drive. There we go. Nice putt. The theme of the video, guys, is just going to be I'm still chasing my Skywalker race. So. 279, 
I could throw mid-range, but we're trying to go for the Skywalker race. And uh, this all actually got changed up a little bit. They used to have like a wall right in front of the basket and you used to have to like kind of either pick to hit the wall and take a putt or land on top, but now there's no wall. So it's just a normal standard hole. Do it. Do it. Drop. Ah. Oh. Okay. Nice shot. I just reached for my other Kyle Klein disc by Cosmic Fury and realized I never grabbed my Vanguard over there. So after I throw this shot, I'm going to run over there. It was because my putter rolled in the water. I was distracted. All right. Cosmic Fury. Oh, that could go in. No, what? I thought the wind was gonna keep it straight. The good news is Vanguard has been rescued. Bad news is I just had to run. So that we're gonna call this the slightly out of breath putt under the palms. This could go outside the circle easily if I miss. Ah! Oh! Back to a two-stroke lead. All right, we just came across the street. We got hole 10. Basket is right there. And of course, we're in Florida. So you have the sign, do not feed or molest the alligators. That's the most Florida shit I've ever seen in my life, dude. Don't molest the alligators? <laughs> They're wild out here, dude. Florida people are wild. They dude. are wild. Yeah, the headwind's pushing it, though. Yeah, it is a little short. All right. I'm going C line FD1 because I think it's a little too much headwind for the Skywalker. It's got to come left. Come on, push, wind. Oh, there it is. Woo! That was a lot better at the second half than it was in the first half. All right, as you guys can see, Noah and I are doing some picture in picture for the birdie bid. Uh oh, this is my chance to get a stroke back right here. FD1. Pretty close. There we go. I'm down one. I don't even think we're, we're not even keeping a scorecard. We're just kind of rolling with it the way we do vlog style. Basket right there before the path. And uh, there is like a little, I don't know if it's water, but it's a ditch that is not where you want to land. Come on around. Oh! Ah, oh, too far. This is welcome to Cliff Stevens. This is what you deal with every single hole. You got bikers and freaking dog walkers and everything. Wind's taking it. Short of the ditch. Oh, it looks perfect. It looks perfect. Yo, yo, go in. Uh, wind took it right, but that's parked. You ever uh, beat up a, a blade so much that it turns into a roller blade? I have, yeah. <laughs> I had a couple roller blades in my, in my, in my time. You know, those are the ones before the, the, the nose bead. Ah, I gotcha. You tooled them and put a little nose bead on there. No. The ones before would roll over. Some those ro ones? Nothing like, so nothing like a good pair of roller blades. All right, here's Noah, long bid. Got his game face on. What? <laughs> he threw it straight into this tree right here. The vlog tells no lies. Ah, oh. well, Noah's putting for four. I'm putting for two. I wish I threw my PD2, it's closer. But it's okay, it's all good practice. Hopefully I don't putt this straight in the ditch. Yeah, boy. I went from down one to up one. That's what we like. All right, hole 12, we got the basket right there. And you can see the gold deep left about double the distance par four. But. 345? 
Yeah, this one is 345, I think. I'm holding on strong to the box. I'm gonna go uh, C line method and just, really? yeah. You're going up the middle? Yeah, I'm going up the middle. Just, yeah, I'm gonna try hyzer. Just so you know, once you come around, that's, that, that's a water line. Oh, shit, okay. So it's it, it drops off to water. All right, let's see if the method can do it. That's all right, that's a putt. Big hyzer. Oh, that's a little inside. I think the wind switched directions. It was right to left and then it just switched to tailwind. Do you guys mind being on my YouTube channel? No, no, no. All right, we just met these lovely people. What's your names? Kelly. Kelly? And Dan, and we're gonna show them how far we can throw a disc golf disc because they are curious and this is for educational purposes. Wow. Look at that thing go. Holy, holy oh, shit. buddy. Nice shot, Noah. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try the big hyzer now because. He's gonna try this one now. <laughs> go in. Oh, it's even even better than my first one. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So those people you just met, Dan and Kelly, they literally just pulled up to the tee pad on hole 12 here and just said, how far you guys throw these things? They're like, yeah, about 500 feet. I'm like, oh, do you mind if we can see how far? So I was like, you mind if we put you on the YouTube channel? So we put a little, little showcase for some people who are learning about disc golf out here. And, Yep, they're from Toronto. I told them about Thomas Gilbert, highest rated player in Canada. Shout out Thomas. This is for Thomas Gilbert. And the city of Toronto. Everybody's watching. Oh yeah. Yep, I think you hit the pole. Well, as you can see, this one was my Heiser bomb for Kelly and Dan. And this one's my mid-range up the gut. Not much difference. And I got the birdie streak on fire. We're finally rolling. That's three in a row. That's three in a row right there. Yeah, it should be up by two. Hold 12 green. Like I said, the gold goes all the way there. So it's two shot par four. And then you would go across the street to that tee pad over there and then bend all the way around this corner and play another par four right there. But like I said, I just wish it was easier with how much foot traffic is around the park to play the golds. It can take literally like twice the amount of time to play the greens or than it does to play the greens because of just, you know, you know, you got people in the way and there's no, no way that you're going to throw when people are walking down the path that is your fairway. But this is actually a hole I've never played before. 13 short. We got 276, I think. Is that a straight one? Yeah, I think it's just this straight one right here. I think I'm just gonna go like mid-range up the gut. Yeah, not a good ace run, but solid shot. <laughs> He's a man for the people. Go in the hole, go in there. Swing! Ah, the wind just kind of killed it. A little bit of a putt game going on here. Putting another. There it is. All right, so we got exciting story here. We just played hole 13, walking over to 14's tee pad here. And I talked about my card mate, Travis, who aced hole, I think it's six on the front nine in the tournament. And then later, later that round, we're on hole. Same round? Yeah, so later that hole, or later that round, we are on hole 10, and the card in front of us aces hole 11. So it's just like, wow, aces are just flying all over the place. And then we come right here to hole 14. And I knocked down my first ever and still only PDGA tournament ace. Really? Yeah. First and only PDGA tournament ace. Yep, I've still never aced again in a tournament, but 
Yeah, we're playing longs. I'm pretty sure this is the one I aced. No, this one, I think it's just the only layout for this hole, but let me show you guys. See if I can repeat, but I aced it with a Glow FD3, and I have a Horizon FD3 in my hand, and let me see if I can replicate it. Yeah, it is a little tight, you're right. Ah, it's more overstable than the one I was throwing back then. Yeah, buddy, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, right in front of it, right in front of it. Roll the blade. Oh, that is a roller blade. Dude. Oh, center, center river. Oh, no. It just lifted right up. I was like, oh, yeah, I made it. Really? I didn't expect a right miss. Did it chunk up my putter? Those are the worst hits you can hit on a disc catcher off the top. No, it looks like it's all right. That was a scary one. Hey, you gotta let the big dog eat, you know what I'm saying? So we talked earlier about me and Noah hanging in Jacksonville. We had some great times, man. Me, him, and B-Stank. We played putting games all the time at night. I'd put my like LED light on the basket and we'd be putting till 1 a.m. Just putting game after putting game. And we played sevens, which is a game that if you break the streak, like everybody will make them continuously one after another. If you break the streak, then you get the points, and if you get seven, you're out. Yep. But if you were out, Noah had a floppy big dog, which is like a, a catch disc, like a dog disc. And it was just like literally a piece of rubber, but that was the rebuttal putt. Like if you play Pong and you get the rebuttal at the end if you get beat, the floppy big dog putt was the rebuttal, and we made some crazy putts with that thing. We would make so many floppy big dog shots, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and the game would go on for hours, but those are the good old days, man. Hanging out with Ron Russell. We played a round of disc golf with Ron Russell, and then the next day he invited us over his house. I don't know if you guys know, Ron Russell's backyard was on insane pools He's on got Animal a Planet. Million dollar plus pool, like over a million dollars. And that's what a successful roofing business will get you. Yes. After a full career of disc golf and a world title, Ron Russell, what a great guy! Just an absolute, absolute pleasure to have gotten the experience. And just knowledge. He shared so much knowledge with you us. You tell him how, like, why he was so good. Like, the, the way his mindset works in, in life and, and just in general, he's a dog. You know, he's a yeah. true dog out there. Like, true dog. And he still got it. He is. He's he beat good. us straight up in a round of disc he golf the day before. Really good out there, yeah. He was not playing around, but. No, he was solid. He was solid. All right, hole 15. I'm doing something crazy. We got the tilt. We're going upside down or We're going upside down tilt. Noah was with me in the tournament. I threw it on hole 16 at Tallahassee. The upside down tilt is on fire. But let's see if we can do it. No, it's too straight. Don't hit it. Ah, oh, come on. It was just too high. A beach? Yeah, you want to feel it? Yeah, sure. crazy. It's so big. Oh, okay. Very interesting feeling, but it flies great. It flies just like a zone. Huh. It feels fast. Feels like a whip it. It does feel different. It feels different. Beef dog. Beef dog. Well, better than mine. All right, tilt didn't work out as well as I would have liked. Doesn't mean that we have no chance. It just means it's a low chance. Sit. Ah, that was. I was a scared bid. Do a little rant for a second because Florida golf is just so different than Massachusetts golf. You know, we don't have park golf in Massachusetts. A lot of our courses are private or they're even like state land, but not like a park. There are a couple, but everything in Florida is basically a park, public access. But man, it's so hard when you're in a public park playing disc golf to find a good spot to pee. You, every, every corner you turn is like people, houses, neighborhoods.
Let the big dog eat. Yes, yes, we needed that. We needed that. We he, needed that. He needed it bad. That was cr you see it. You see it. I had a right to left, too. That's probably the worst win. Straight death. This is tap in. You, yeah, you can pick it. Lefty. Lefty putt. Come on. Oh, they're money. Hey, I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of the most famous holes on the course, hole 16. And a lot of wind. There's the bucket. And right here. Noah's already showcasing it. I can't climb a hole, baby. Home of home. the champ. This is... Everybody posts pictures of this hole and videos. I did the first time I played it. I posted a video of me throwing this hole. And a really, really fun story is right here over on this bench, in the second round of the tournament, Ken Climo was spectating. The first round, I dunked my first shot in the water and then re-teed and got up and down for the four. Because it's basically a re-tee no matter what. Yeah, if you dunk it in the water. Right. And the second round, I was like, all right, now I know the line. I'm not going to dunk it short. And I threw a cloud breaker two up, hyzer flip, flex, came back, literally just curled the pole, got the CTP. And I just went back over to the bench where I was talking to Ken. And the only thing he said, he took a, took a drag off the cig and said, don't hit your head. Damn, and I'm like, that's all damn, I need. I that's can, the coldest King Climbo story I've ever heard of. I can, reti life. I can retire with a successful career. After parking this hole in front of Ken Climo. I've wanted to like to sit next to Ken Climo and hear the you know, like yeah. just anything. I want to hear anything in that after he takes just a fat drag of a cigarette. <laughs> I want to hear that shit so bad. It was a special moment, you know. And anybody who knows Ken Climo, you know you know like you gotta earn that. That's and I, I earned it and I was I was very proud. Alright, let's check it. April is playing at a different time than April. April, so Ken's done. So they go out to watch Ron Russell. Ron Russell thinks they're trying to get one up on him. So he's like, this is just what, this is all what David said, right? So Ron Russell is just like, what the f are you guys doing out here? Y'all are trying to f ice me the f out. F you guys, get the f out of here. You know, just pissed, right? He said he was pissed to the point to where Ken Climo, he said Ken Climo went up and apologized to Ron Russell. And, and Ken, this is what Ken Climo told Dave. He's like, if I had never apologized, I'm not losing like like that's literally King Climo thinks the only reason he lost is because he got soft as f and apologized to Ron Russell that's the only reason King Climo in his head lost that 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 tenth in a row I swear to God ask him. all right here we go enough talk this is 486 water the whole way Noah's box you know so that's the typical safe play. You know, just get it on land. With this headwind, I think I'm just gonna try and do a similar thing. I'm gonna try and smoke it on an Annie and just let it ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Ah, yeah, the wind is just taking them right. We, we landed in the same spot. All right, guys, this is the theme of the video. Me and Noah landed right by each other and just long, long putt off. Try and cash money this right here. Ugh. Nice bid, dude. That was sick. Didn't even make it to the pole. That's what I was saying. I don't even know if I could put this far. I think I needed the MD on that one. Oh, a turnover. Okay. Well, <laughs> with the grunt. I'll, do, I'll grunt this one. Ugh. Well, that one had a chance. All right, another funny story about this hole. As you can see, this water level is crazy. We didn't even we didn't even really have to worry about clearing. We could have just walked out there and grabbed our disc. Damn, I didn't even see but that. the first time I ever played here, this was all pretty deep water. And I threw my cloud breaker too, about like 20 feet out. And we had an alligator that was literally leering over my disc, just poking his eyes out. Damn. And then I was like, holy crap, I gotta go get my phone because the tee pad, the next tee pad's back there. I dropped my dropped my bag. I go back, get my phone, I come back, he's gone. And then when I was like, oh, where did he go? I start to film and he literally crawls across the, the bottom of the water and just stands on my disc with two feet and was like, come and get it. And we had to like get the, get the retriever in there and like quick yank it out to save my cloud breaker too. From a gator? From a gator, yeah. Oh, it was crazy. He, he wanted business and everybody said he was just checking to see if it was inked. He probably... <laughs> <laughs> All right, hole 17. Basket is right there. It is 384 feet. I've got two strokes on Noah with two to go. I might go roller here, but the wind feels like it's just gonna push it. So I might just try like a air shot flippy 
like CD2 or something. Might even be able to do Skywalker. I think I'm gonna try Skywalker. Beat up Skywalker, to be clear. Oh, I love it. Oh my Lord. It like crossed chains. It was definitely short, but just seeing that thing cross chains down that turnover, that would have been the most epic case of my life. And I just threw, yeah, that was my beat up Skywalker. 384, not bad. With the wish.com Skywalker. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is, uh, we're gonna see if I got the spank to get a sidearm there. We'll see, I've been working on it. I've been working on it. Holy. Get under those branches. That is a very rewarding thing for me to see, the backhand and the sidearm, because I remember playing the tournament here in 2021, back when I was pretty sidearm heavy, but I was sidearm flex heavy. I wasn't hyzer flip gas. And now I'm more of like that hyzer flip gas guy. I still can do the flex, but it's not my preferred shot anymore. And it's just like, you know, you see two over two years apart, the development of your game and you, like right here, I have two birdie putts from two shots I wasn't throwing in 2021. I was just exactly how my game was when I first started. Like, yeah, literally, I felt more consistent probably back then at flexing a frisbee. Yeah, flexing a yeah, the, the flex sidearms. Yeah, I know. Like I feel like I could, I pinned them better back then than I do now. But, yeah. but like like you said, their hyzer flip is night and day. 2020 night and 2021, I had a, I had successful seasons because of my flex sidearm. Flex sidearm, right, right. And. Uh, you know, it's just really rewarding to see the difference of what two years can make. And have you seen Beast Tank's sidearm? Yeah, I have. I've seen holy, some videos. Holy shit. He's working on it. It's better than ours. It might be better than ours. All right. Shout out to, shout to Beast Tank. He's it's, putting that work in, too. It's scary good. Like, I cannot express to you guys, like, how shitty Beast Tank's sidearm was <laughs> two years ago. Like, when we were at New World. New World, yeah. He could, like you said, he could not, he, it's not that he couldn't throw a, he, he, it's like, you know, you say you couldn't throw a hyzer. But you could still throw it. Yeah. Beast Tank physically, physically could not throw a hyzer. He could only throw flexes two years ago. Now he's throwing 450 foot fucking hyzer flip, just straight lasers on the sidearm now. It's impressive. It's That's impressive. a weapon. Yeah, it's impressive. Hi, right, you gonna make this putt with your wish.com, Skywalker? I got no, no, wish.com wish uh, link. Oh, okay. I, don't, I think it's the only way around. Get down. Ah. Well, it didn't come up short. All right, guys, here's the results. The gas sidearm, that's 384 feet on a hyzer. I'm pretty proud of that. And the Skywalker, just past it. Yeah, it was a pretty good ace run. I must have just snuck like, I think it was like right under it. Yeah, just like snuck right underneath the cage. Don't forget your destroyer back there. All right, if I make this putt, I think it puts it away. Never say never, but 18 is kind of an easy par four. Whoa! Popcorn on the putt. I actually had a crazy spit out for Ace at Coachman, the other course here in town in Clearwater. Yeah. I had a skip shot that was like, it skipped super early, so it was coming in like super flat. It went cage, chains, cage, out. And I've still never aced with the Skywalker. It's like, it's like the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my career. Yeah, it was the Skywalker too. Got another funny story for you guys here. So the first tournament I ever played here was the Moxon Lake Open in 2021. And that was the last time I was here, but we played two rounds of tea times in one day. Oh, it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard of. And I told the tournament director that, and it didn't matter all the, whatever I said, they weren't going to listen. Well, it's not like, two tea times in one day isn't dumb, but like tell them what time you were teeing yeah, off. Yeah, I teed off my first round at like 1130. I was the last card. And then first round. That's not second round. That's first round. And then I teed off my second round at like three, 330. <laughs> So we got to this hole. I told them if I have to play in the dark, I'm gonna mark my disc and I'm coming back in the morning. I don't care. But we were trying to make it to the Tampa Bay Lightning game that night. So I was coming down the stretch. I'm like, it's dark. And the card in front of us hadn't even teed off. They were waiting on this tee. And I looked at the card and I was like, do you guys mind if we just play in an eight some? Yeah. And we played in an eight some. I mean, at that point, yeah. And the tournament director was mad that we played in an eight some. It's like, it's literally it's pitch dark. blackout. What do you want us to do? To this hole is a just send it dream. Contest. Long drive contest, five bucks. Five bucks, I'm down. Oh, no. Actually, keep turning. Yes, I, I won five bucks for sure. 
Ah. Wrong DD3, wrong DD3. Come on, should have gone and just send it two. Oh, get up! No, Noah! All right, we're redoing it. We'll play those, we'll play those shots, but. All right, another five. Yeah. We got $10 on that. $10. Those ones didn't count. You never saw anything. That's the one. That's far. That might be the farthest shot I've ever thrown. <laughs> Those are peacocks. That's bombed. Oh, this is going to be a great contest. Here's the result. That's some bullshit. Right? Casey's, Casey's been taking steroids or something. Distance contest. No steroids involved. I got that gas. There's mine right there. I'm not going to lie. This hole is 670. I'm a jump putt away. That might be the longest throw of my life. I'm gonna I'm gonna range find it and see. We're gonna get the results here. We need the verdict here. I'm gonna see. Because like I said, this might be the longest throw of my career. This measures in yards, so I need some math here. Ah! 552. 5.52, my, my farthest throw of my career is 5.63, so, I mean, for, for a straight tailwind, my farthest throw of my career is 5.63 with a left to right, so it just held it the whole way, 5.52 tailwind, I ain't complaining, it's good to know I got it, I'll go back and watch that clip so I can study that form, see what I did right, and see if I can replicate it. This is the eagle bid. End on a high note. We would love it. Ugh. Drop! What? Ugh. I was like, what? It never dropped. This is what I was talking about at Stafford. This is like the Matteo. 552. This is my little like Matteo, Greg Barsby like playing catch with the basket shot. Ah, hit the pole. Ah, oh, man, Coach Brad, we're going to need a lot of bleeps on this video. <laughs> Come on. Come on, drop in there. Oh, off the cage. We're all trying to play catch. No wonder you threw it so Check far. it. Oh, Show my, the camera. Oh, my God, that hurt my thumbs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what is that? DD3. Dude, that thing, that thing just sent it. Again. Just sent it. <laughs> He's just sent it one. You've seen this guy flying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is that flippier one? Yeah, a little, it's, like I said, they're mostly straight this at this point. UFO dome. This one goes yeah, they used to be the beefiest distance driver ever, and now they're just like nice oh, and straight. That's gonna do it. I ended up taking down the victory against my homie here. Took it down, but and he took down the long drive. I am in the hole right now, dude. Broke. Took down the long drive and the round, but great time out here at Cliff Stevens, Ken Climo's home course. Like I said, the gold layout designed by Ken Climo. Just tough to play when the park is pretty busy, but yeah. I'd recommend this course to anybody no. traveling to the Tampa Bay, it Clearwater legendary. area. It's Very legendary. legendary. You might lose a disc, so bring a quick stick. Bring a quick stick, bring some throwaways. Yep, bring some throwaways, yeah. but uh, get, make sure to check out Noah's channel. He's check posting out, almost guys. every day, right? I'm trying to, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to every day. If I don't get it that day, it's probably because I'm traveling all day. Just like, you know, it's like a 10 plus hour drive. But I'll try, and, I'll try and throw the link of, the, of your video in the description yeah, of mine. But, so look same. up Noah Fiveash, check out his channel. He's working hard. Road back to a thousand. We're grinding it and, out, baby. And uh, I'm actually heading home tomorrow. I'm gonna fly home for the weekend before chess.com. It's just like, uh, I'm gonna, I, I mean, I've been playing so much anyway. I need some rest. Need and to. I'm, I'm glad to be home with my family to get yeah. geared up to grind it out. It's gonna be, you're gonna be more excited when you come uh, back. Absolutely. Hungry. Hungry dogs Hungry. run faster. Right there, brother. All, All right. right. Thanks for coming out. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more, you know, vlogs coming every week. And I appreciate you guys watching, appreciate this course and Ken Climo and everybody that has been involved. Florida Disc Golf is just something else. I'm so excited that we have a Disc Golf Pro Tour event in Florida nowadays, but make sure to stay tuned for more. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. The man, the myth, the legend, Joey Tamale. Hey, bud. Is this the vlog?
I mean, we already filmed the vlog. This is going to be like the post credit scene, like post -credit bonus credit scene? bonus footage. Wow. So these are for the people who stuck around all the way through the credits. These are the diehards. This is the 1%. Oh, we're clear too. This is for you guys. God, that pressure. MVP. What are we throwing? We're throwing a rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah, the tail end. Okay. I don't have a free hand to zoom, but it's probably for the best. Dang, is this your shot? I mean, that was a that was a disworthy shot. How about that? I can't zoom that one either, so. Redemption shot. Look at that one. Look at that form. Nice shot, Joe. Thank you for the appearance. All right. 